Welcome to another Journalist Toolbox training. My name is Mike Riley, the founder and editor of the Journalist Toolbox. Today we're going to learn how to build Tableau Public Maps, maps in Tableau Public and Tableau Desktop. Uh, so if you go to the uh, videos uh, description area, uh, you'll find this link in there, bit.ly slash Tableau Maps. Um, you can open that up and it'll take you to this little exercise here on how to set up Tableau Public, a free account. Uh, and how to download Tableau uh, Desktop. Uh, and once you have those two things installed, go ahead and restart the computer again, or restart the uh, uh, video again, uh, and we can get started on the exercise. So first you have to follow these steps at the top, bit.ly slash Tableau Maps, set up your free Tableau public account, and download uh, the 14-day uh, free trial. You also get a free version of it uh, if you're a student or an academic, uh, at Tableau Desktop. Once you have those installed, uh, then we can get started on the exercise. So hit the pause button right now and download those and we'll get started in just a minute. At the bottom of our exercise sheet here, you'll see that we have a little short primer from investigative reporters and editors about Tableau and how it works. There's also a short training video on Tableau Public uh, that goes over how it works. Um, and then we've got an exercise here at the bottom or the top of page two uh, that's going to allow you to download some data, uh, move it into Tableau Desktop, create your graphic, uh, and then export it. Uh, into Tableau Public, where you can then take and embed it. It'll be on the live website. Always remember that Tableau Desktops, where you build the graphic, Tableau Public is where it's published to, uh, where you can get the embed code and, and hot link uh, to make it live on the web. So hit the pause button now and go in and do step one, where you open up this Tableau sheet uh, uh, right here, this Google Sheet. Once you have that data set open, uh, you'll be able to look through it uh, and see uh, what kind of data is in uh, this exercise. Uh, you'll notice here it's cases per uh, cases and deaths per 100,000 uh, people. Um, so this is uh, uh, got total cases, total deaths. Then it's got uh, cases per 100,000 and deaths per 100,000. This data set uh, is all. Uh, uh, data from uh, COVID-19, uh, U.S. data uh, from uh, state by state, county by county uh, for 2020. Um, it goes from March 1st through July 8th. Um, so it's a running total here, total cases, total deaths. It's got population, then cases per 100,000 and deaths per 100,000. Name of the state, name of the county. Uh, it's a very large data set. You can click in here and I'll hit command arrow down on my uh, desktop. Uh, and it takes me down, or on my uh, uh, MacBook, and it takes me down to line 3000, Wyoming. So there's 3004 uh, lines in here and 3003 counties. Uh, so there's a lot of data in there because uh, you have your header row that means one less stat, piece of data. So what we're going to do with this data set is we're going to open up Tableau Desktop and we're going to load that data set in there. So we, we're going to go in uh, and open up Tableau Desktop. Once you've downloaded it, uh, it'll be on your desktop um, and uh, in your hard drive, I should say. Uh, and you can just go and open it up on your toolbar uh, if you have it out on your home, uh, on your desktop like this. And I'll open Tableau Desktop. It'll give you a choice of downloading uh, many different uh, types of, of data sets. You can download it straight from a Google Sheet. Uh, you can download it straight from uh, an Excel spreadsheet. Uh, many other sources uh, where you can pull the data in from. Um, I always uh, link it directly to my Google Sheet. It's important to keep that Google Sheet in one spot uh, so you don't move it around. Um, uh, then it'll, it'll break the link to the data set and it'll break on you. Uh, so down here on the left-hand side of Tableau Desktop, uh, we've got uh, the server, all these different uh, things in here. One thing I always make sure I do up here under server, uh, this is if I'm on a MacBook, uh, I make sure that I sign into Tableau 
uh, desktop here. Um, uh, if I'm on a PC, I believe you have to go under File, and you could log into uh, uh, Tableau Desk or Tableau Public there. So you must connect Tableau Desktop to the live server, which is Tableau Public, um, and you can always sign out at the end. I always leave mine signed in. Uh, so to create that connection at the very beginning, so you need to connect Desktop to the live website. Uh, the live website is here. And this is, are, these are all my past graphics and dashboards and things that I've created. So what I'm going to do here is go down the left-hand side to, te, uh, to Google Sheets. Click on Google Sheets. It'll ask to connect uh, again to my Tableau Public, uh, actually to uh, my uh, Google Drive. So I'll log in to my Google Drive. I've just selected that one there. Allow. This is a lot of connecting here, and you can click out of it. Go back into your Tableau desktop, and you'll see your Tableau exercises are right here. We'll click on it and click Connect. And you'll see down the left hand side here that I got several data sets in here. There's several tabs in here of different types of data sets that you can use in Tableau. Some for graphics like the NJ COVID and things like that. Um, Major League Baseball salaries, you can do that in Tableau as a graphic. Um, what we want uh, is uh, US COVID Tableau mapping. So you can double click on that and you'll see your data set pop up here. It's the same one that we were looking at before. Okay. And then you want to go to this orange button here. It says go to worksheet. We'll click on that. And now we see our interface, dimensions and measures. Okay. Dimensions are uh, things like shapes, you know, the counties and things like that, uh, the geographic uh, measurements. Uh, measures are the data, the numbers. Okay. So we've got to set this up a couple of different ways. Okay. Um, filters uh, are how you filter the data out. Um, then we have marks here, which allow us to add a tool tip. So when we hover over the state or the county, uh, it'll give us the data. And then the color panel that we'll set with it as well. Um, uh, the measures here have our uh, uh, physical measurements. It also has our longitude and latitude here, which is really important. Okay, so I'm going to do this relatively quickly. You'll just kind of learn this hit, hit and miss uh, on how to do these. But once you've done a couple of maps or a couple of charts, you'll start to figure out how to build one. Um, it's pretty pretty easy once you've kind of got the have uh, the basic steps down. So since I'm going to filter my map later uh, by county, I'm going to drag counties into filter. It'll ask me to select all counties, so I want them all to appear in there, and click OK. Then I'm going to drag longitude, which is a measure, up to columns at the very top here. Okay. Columns, think of these columns and rows as kind of your X and Y axis, longitude and latitude. I'm going to drop latitude into my rows. Then I'm going to take county and drop it into color. And just kind of leave it there. It's not going to do much to start with. And the last thing it's going to do here is you're going to drag, drag county over into the map itself. And then it should default to this, you know, funky looking, uh, you know, uh, point uh, around here. Um, I'm going to flip over to this one here, which is a chloroplet map instead of a pinpoint map. And then it gives us kind of a flat blue color panel. As you can see, we're starting to uh, hover over all the counties here. Uh, we don't really have uh, a, a data set yet selected. Um, so, you know, it's just giving us uh, the counties. Um, so what we're going to do is we're going to select uh, uh, cases uh, per 100K, and that's how we're going to uh, position our, our colors. So drag cases per 100K into the color panel here. So hold it and just drag it into color. And now it starts to do what we begin to see as a choropleth map. As we hover over it, 
we see the name of the county, the name of the state, uh, and then the state cases per 100K. I could also have done it by total cases, total deaths, and so on. Um, and you can see it begins to build over here, uh, uh, everything, and, and you know, everything starts to, to come together here. Uh, so this is what you want to have, longitude and latitude for your X and Y axis, basically. Um, if you were looking at this as a chart, uh, filter, we're going to filter it by counties. Uh, uh, and then we're going to drag in um, cases per 100K to color and also county. State also comes over with it, uh, which we'll deal with uh, in, in just a little bit. Um, so these are the steps that were basic steps that we're following uh, on our exercise sheet. Uh, right here. So if the video isn't getting it done for you, you can go through and step by step uh, uh, find all of these steps up here. And right now uh, we're down here right around step 11 and 12. Cases per 100K has been dragged to the color tab um, and then we want to go in and adjust these colors uh, to what we want them to look like. Um, you know, this green is fine, but uh, you know, we want to have a little more detail to it. So you can double click on color. And I always leave the opacity right around 80%. I mean, you can uh, increase it or decrease it. Uh, but I like it right around 70 or 80, which it defaults to. You can click on edit colors or double click on it. Uh, and then it gives you an automatic, uh, you know, color panel here. Um, uh, I, I'm going to go orange gold. Uh, you could go orange green with this too. You know, either one would work. There's three color ones. Um, you know, uh, depending on, you know, uh, your data and what you want to work with here. Uh, but I'm going to give it a little different color panel. Um, uh, you could go with stepped colors. Um, this will uh, allow different gradients uh, to uh, emerge in here. Uh, I'm going to give it three. Um, and then advanced allows you to uh, really uh, give it some uh, uh, pizzazz where you can range it uh, from you know, let's say one, and I think the highest number in this data set uh, for cases uh, per 100K is right around 2,800. Um, and then I'll click OK and see what I get. We can always go back and adjust this. But you know, as we can see here, you know, some of these red spots have very high cases per 100K, you know, which we want. You know, we want to show those areas darkened. Uh, you know, we're getting up around 1,000, 2,000, 3,000. Now, I could, uh, you know, break up that gradient a little bit more uh, and go with more steps um, as opposed to three. I could go up to five uh, and apply that, and it'll adjust them a little bit more. You can keep going up even more and more. Uh, but now, you know, we're starting to see, you know, some of the lower uh, counties, you know, uh, uh, are in yellow. Uh, but some of the hot spots you can start to see in red here of, of counties that had a high number of cases, either they had prisons in them or um, uh, or an average amount of cases, but high number of cases per 100K. They either had prisons in them uh, or they had uh, um, meatpacking plants, things like that. Um, so we begin to really see some of these hot spots uh, around the country. And again, you can tinker with these color uh, sets and your steps uh, to really detail it the way the way you like. Uh, this one I pulled here is off of a different one. I went from zero to 350, but you know, for ours, we want to go up to about 2,600, 2,800 uh, for our scale there. Um, you also uh, can add a headline to your sheet when you want to do so. Uh, the headline will appear up here. You can type it in, uh, but really the easier way to do it is to go down here where the little tab that says sheet one and double click in it. And I'm just going to name my sheet because we're going to add a big headline later when we move this into a dashboard that will be in our second video. Um, you can go in here and you can name it um, U.S. COVID-19 cases by county. You can see it appears up here. You can always double click on it. And, Adjust the color, you know, if you wanted to, you know, make it kind of a lighter blue color and uh, um, uh, maybe bold face it, you know, bump up the font just a little bit. You can change your font type too. Um, you know, there's several different ones in here. Tableau has some nice default uh, fonts with it. So uh, there you go. Um, it shows up kind of bold face in here. When you export it, it will be that light blue. So um, it, it, uh, it, a lot of times you'll look at this and go, what the heck? And, and it's actually... Uh, a, a blue uh, color when you have it uh, exported. Um, so now 
you've got the uh, sizings of, of a map showing up here. Um, and you've got, uh, uh, you know, your, your uh, tool tips and things like that to, to adjust here. Um, I've given you some visuals on the handout here uh, of wh where everything goes in each of the columns. So you can go in and set them. Uh, you maybe missed a step or something like that. Um, but let's take a minute now and go in and develop what we call a tool tip. Tool tips are when you hover over something, you'll see here it says county, state, uh, and then uh, the names of each. And let's say I wanted to punch this up a little bit, you know, give it a little color and maybe bold face some just different parts of it. I can double click on tool tip in here uh, and go in and highlight these different areas. And let's say I want to make this bold face and maybe make it a dark blue color. And I want to make state word bold face dark blue, the cases per 100K, dark blue and bold face again. Uh, I can also punch up the fonts of everything, you know, if you want to make it a little easier for people to read, you know, maybe take it up to 12 point, you know, 14 is a little high, but 12 is pretty good there. Um, I also can uh, highlight each of these areas here. Um, if I don't want them bold faced, I can unbold face them. You can play around with these. Sometimes you can even write these as sentences too. Uh, you can put in text, you know, and just have, you know, uh, in this county, you know, name, uh, in this state name, there were uh, X number of uh, cases per 100,000 people, you know, uh, COVID-19 cases per 100,000 people. So you can actually write this out as a sentence. Uh, I kind of prefer seeing just the data stacked uh, there, but you know, it's, it's fine. Once I hit OK, then I hover over the tooltip, uh, and it's now much larger font, uh, and it's blue on the headers, and, and they're a little bolder, and they get a little more punch to them. Uh, so you can really get in here and see. Um, this is searchable, so you'll be able to search by state in here. Um, you can zoom in, zoom out, um, you know, as, uh, as you see fit, just like with any map. Um, it auto saves in here. You can hit the Save button. Uh, if you want to save it, uh, I encourage you to, to name it, uh, you know, uh, COVID-19 US map. Just give it a working title and hit save. Uh, now, in our second video, we're actually going to take this and make it uh, a dashboard so we can take and filter it um, by state. So you can isolate just one state uh, and then export it uh, so it appears in Tableau Public. Uh, and you can see what it looks like on the live web. Uh, but that's it for this first video. Uh, tune into our second video. The link will be in the description of the second video uh, so you can see how we uh, turn this into a filtered dashboard. See you next time.